Coach Strong is joined. And we're joined by USF yes. Coach Charlie Strong. Uh, USF is 4-0 and overall, 1-0 and in the American Athletic Conference. The Bulls were idle last week. They're back in action this Saturday with a non-conference game at Massachusetts. The uh, game will be at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time and will be on the 11 Network. Uh, Coach, thank you for joining us on the call. Please just let us know how your open week went and, uh, and your thoughts on the upcoming game uh, up at UMass, please. Uh, how many weekend off allowed us to get some needed rest and we were able to heal up some wounds that we had and, and just being able to get some guys back on the field last week, like I said, it played a lot during those four games. We were able to rest them up and allow the young guys to come out and practice a lot. But we're going to hit an eight-week stretch. It's going to turn into a one-game season. Looking forward to the challenge with UMass, a team that is um, – very, very good, and they're two and four, but the record don't indicate just how good they are. You know, just defensively, they're very multiple four-down uh, package. They can bring pressure, play cover one. Linebacker is one of the lead tacklers in the country. And then our offense, very multiple, have a really good receiver in Isabella who uh, has seven touchdowns, finds a way to get over and beat guys inside or outside. So, we're looking forward to the challenge. Looking forward to get back in action after having a week off. We'll take questions from <clears> Coach <throat> Charlie Scott, please. Hit star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. Our first question comes from Nathan Bond with the Daily Stampede.com. Hey, Coach, how are you? Good, Nathan. How are you doing? Doing well. Uh, Mitch Wilcox went out in the first half against ECU, and the offense kind of sputtered without him in there. What's his status heading into Saturday? Uh, Wilcox will be back. He's been practicing. You know, it's day by day with him right now, but expect by game time he should be back and ready to go play. And <laughs> your running back room's a proverbial mass unit. Uh, what's the status update on the, the multiple guys that you have out there? Well, uh, Cronkite will be back, um, you know, right now with Bell and with uh, Mac. We, it's still day-to-day -day with them. But the rest of the guys, uh, we should be able to have them back and ready to go. All right. And looking back on last Saturday uh, against ECU, the offensive line struggled with the wide nine sets. What did you see on film uh, that, you know, led to the six sacks and, uh, you know, held under 300 yards? Held us to 300. Is that what you said? Yeah. Say it again now. I'm sorry. Held us oh, to 300. Yeah. Well, we got to do a better job of blocking them and and just and not putting our uh, putting our um, putting ourselves in a position where we 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 have to be ready on when we call in plays that we can get it mixed up and we're able to do it. Yeah, that's it for me, Coach. I appreciate it. All right. And star one for questions for Coach Charlie Strong, please. Which one's throwing out? I mean, the news is kind of broken about Coach Whipple from UMass not being on the sidelines this Saturday. Does that in any way change, uh, you know, your preparation or how you might approach the game, uh, knowing that he's he's not going to be there? No, it, it shouldn't because they still have their, you know, there's, there's ten other coaches. They have both of their coordinators, and it's just you know, it's, for him is not being able to manage the team, but. We're going to still prepare and get our preparation right and just make sure that we handle our business and take care of what we need to take care of offensively, defensively, and in the kicking game. And then more of a general question. So we talked about some of the numbers uh, before you came on, but you know, 25 and 4 in the last three seasons, you know, 32 and 6 in the last 38 games. I mean, some of that predates your tenure there. But to what do you attribute the, the consistency that, you, that your program has shown um, going into the, maybe the year prior to your arrival and, then the, and now the two years since you've been back, been in Florida at the USF? Well, you know, the, the thing that we're doing is we're playing good. We're playing uh, – the, the teams that we're playing are outstanding teams, but our players, you know, they're, they're getting themselves in a position where they want to play well. And it, it's uh, the key – the key – you know, factor there is, is the players, and we have a good, really good football players. But but they're welcome to each challenge, and and they're going out and preparing themselves to go play. We can go back to Nathan with a follow up question, please. 
Coach, I have just one more question for you. Uh, the, the previous two weeks, you have said that you know, the coaching staff didn't get the team ready. What did you guys work on during the bye week to help you guys, you know, jumpstart and not sleepwalk, as you as you put it, sleepwalk through the well, game? The thing is, we you right. What we need to do is we got to come out. We got to play and we got to play with a rhythm and have some t- a tempo to us and play physical at the point of attack and play fast. You know, we, when we get started fast, then we play fast, and, and that's what we we got to do. We got to get started, and we just can't go out there and just kind of go through the motion. It's got like we had to have a sense of urgency and balance. All right, I appreciate it, Coach. That's it for me. Thank this you time for real. Thanks. Okay, Coach. Thanks so much for your time today. I look forward to hearing from you once again next Monday.